Over to you, sister. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pastor Ivo. Um, it's with great pleasure that I um I think um I need to do this to be honest. Um it's been long coming. Um I just want to say uh faithful God, just like the music said, the song says, Great is your faithfulness. Um he has been our great provider, he's been my great provider. Um I moved into Northampton um five years ago. Um, by profession, I'm a civil engineer. Um, I've also done project management. And then um, I was working in London for a long time. So we moved over here. So, and then the career I didn't pick up as it was when I made that decision to leave and come down to Northampton. So things just went really, you know, down south a bit. Um, but for some reason, um, I just took up because I used to contract so I just took up um, a permanent position which wasn't paying very much then but it wasn't doing justice for me for the family for the bills so but um, as as God will have it or as, as everyone would say um, destiny helper I met um, Pastor Ivo and then I was struggling at that time. So I think it's about um, a year or not, 18 months now. And and then he said, Oh, um, well, let me let me let me let me start by saying how I met him. I was trying to pay for my coffee. Um, I bought water, I went to the gym, I bought water, and I paid for the water, and then I tried to also pay for the coffee. Then I realized that there's not enough money in my account to pay for the coffee. And then he um and he said, Oh, don't worry, I got you. So I checked this card, there's no money. I checked it, I thought, what's happened? So and I said, Oh, don't worry, I got you. I got you, sister. I was like, hmm? I don't let people pay for me. I don't even, you know, really talk to strangers. And I said, No, 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 it's fine. No, no, it's fine. I said, Oh. I said, I'm really sorry. He said, no, I'll pay for it. You've already bought it, I'll pay for it. Because he was next in queue. But that was how we got talking. And he told me he's a pastor. And then if I could, you know, join the ministry and, you know, and that was it really. So I think sometime um, early this year, or well, last year I was in employment. I got a contract. The contract lasted for six months. And then and then I was out of job again. And again, um, I put my request um on the prayer line. I remember Gemma, and um, when when Pastor said, "If you have any prayer requests and stuff," so and then I remember Jem praying and mentioning my name, and as God will have it, um, three four months down the line again, the contract came back, so I got another contract. So I just want to say. Thank you. This family is a wonderful family. Um, I'm glad to be part of this family. I just want to say thank God for everything. Thank God for the journey. Um, and I'm just so, so, so grateful to God. I'm so grateful for this team. I'm very happy to be part of this platform. And I think that's from me. <laughs> So this morning, what we're going to actually do is we're actually going to go around the room and we're going to go around the room. And I want each person to give a testimony this morning of what God has done in their life over the last week or so. <laughs> Starting with you, Brother Mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what God has done in the last week. Um. God's been doing so much in the last week. He's been revealing things to me. Um, he's been um, creating situations of reconciliation with family members that I've not seen in like 10 years. Um, answered prayers that I've prayed for. When I was in prison, I prayed to be able to read Bible with my, my auntie Doreen. And this is a little old lady that used to pray for me when I was young. 
um, probably the the family member that I'm closest to on 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 my father's side. Um, it was the place where my when I used to misbehave, my dad was like, "All right, you go stay with your auntie Doreen." So I'd have to go to my auntie Doreen's house, and <laughs> and she dragged me to church and 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 pray for me. And it's it's very strange because when I spoke to her, this is how God got so good, man. When I when I when I finally spoke to her, it was like, "Mark, where are you, Mark?" Do you know what I mean? And then we just spent hours just reading Bible and praying together, and then and then I'm asking about my cousins and stuff. Bro, my cousin lives like four minutes from where I'm currently residing, bro. Like uh, he literally lives around the corner from me. She's telling me that Michael lives down the road. So I've gone to go see my cousin. Like, like it's just been amazing. Like, do you know what I mean? It just keeps like um, just blessing me in 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 little ways and then obviously my my parents giving their life to Christ the evangelism event the other day people giving their life to Christ in the street um coming across broken people that through through the power of the holy spirit we've been able to outreach them and signpost them and try to give them some reassurance just just all kinds of um just goodness man you know like chicken soup for the soul man and this is what god keeps doing he keeps on just blessing me in situations where like um where i'm able to just be grateful when i'm able to it just remember lot, where where i came from you know what i mean where where i was when i was struggling when i was hurting when i was lost when i was alone and through the power of the holy spirit it's just reminding me of how far um he has come and what is possible and also a lot of my family members are starting to look and people that know me and they're thinking like, obviously they're seeing the light and they're just being like, well, if if my son or my nephew or this person I used to know that used to um, get up to all sorts of, of, of stupid stuff, like if this is what is, is capable of reading the Bible and believing and having faith, like it started to make like people that, um, that, that are around me like look and be like, whoa, and actually start to start to look into their faith with, um, and be serious about it, you know? So that's what God's been doing in my life over the last few weeks, so. Amen, amen. And you've been very consistent, Mark, do you know what I mean? And I think that's one of the key things, isn't it? Being consistent with our faith, isn't it? You know, because yeah. the world is watching. The world is watching. People are watching. So it's really, really powerful, that testimony, Mark. Really, really powerful. I see God working through you in so many different areas and, um, you know, helping you overcome challenges and situations. And I know he's continuing to bless you and work things out in your own salvation with trembling and fear. And he's lifting you up and he's bringing you to that place of glory to glory. Because I can see your light shining right now through this yeah. Man. I really can see that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And listen, let me, let me tell you about signs and wonders because I can see a sign and wonder right here. You know what I mean? A sign and wonder right here. You know, you know, not nine months ago when I was working in the prison, you know, to see my man's faith working in the prison and to see him his faith activate from the prison to transcend outside here is nothing short of a miracle Amen. you know i was marveled when you was in prison i was i thought look at this guy in this prison man do you know what i mean you know caged up you know but still active you know running around the wing just trying to like, bring souls to the meeting do you know what i mean and then when they was in you know they were caged in and boxed in and i was just marveled by that faith do you know what i mean i was like wow do you know what i'm saying and like now i see you doing exactly the same thing and in that heart in the name of Jesus lifting everybody up you know you know being available being attentive so I just want to pray for you right now in the name of Jesus because it's like Father I just want to thank you for Mark I pray for that fresh anointing of his life right now in the name of Jesus I ask you to continue to guide him and lead him Lord in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against him shall prosper Lord we just lift him up to you Father God because we know that your plans will be established in him Lord plans for him to prosper not to fail in the name of Jesus and we just lift him up this morning in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you continue to cover him from head to toe. Lord, Lord, use him as a vessel. Lord, as he gives himself away, as he serves you in your kingdom, Father God, I just thank you for his life, for what you're continuing to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Amen. you. Bless you. May God, God bless strengthen you. you. May God continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Sister Maxine, how are you doing? Okay, is there any? Oh, here you are. Oh, you look very, very cozy there. 
<laughs> wrapped up early morning <laughs> you're out on the road you're unmuted at the moment you're muted Faster. That's okay. I couldn't see that bit. Yeah, it's been a, a, um, a really, um, it's been a really uh, good week, all in all, because um, I went to the face-to-face -face meeting last Saturday. I drove all the way to uh, Northampton, it took me uh, about just over, just under two hours, Big Brother Con up. I went to the face-to-face -face meeting. We had a lovely meal at Zara on Saturday night. Um, then I was, um, but when when we left the uh, restaurant, my car didn't want to start, and it was screaming. I thought, "What's wrong with my car?" That's really strange. But anyway, it got me to the hotel and turned the ignition off when I got to the hotel. But the car was it made it was making this terrible screaming noise. But I just want to say how good. <laughs> God was because actually <laughs> I had to stay in Northampton till Tuesday and I've got to give my thanks to God because of past driver because if I had you know anything could have happened to me but um, God saw a way through and I was safe because I could stay in the hotel I didn't have any money and um, and uh, God blessed me with, with past driver who helped me with the hotel for two days and I'm so grateful and then he helped me get um get my car recovered and mm. through the grace of God my car was fixed but mm. I could have been so different mm. and I praise God for uh, everything he's doing in my life I praise God for faithful meetings and Pastor Ivor who's God raising up but what a kind man <laughs> and it's all glory to God isn't it brothers and sisters um, those, 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 yes. How those yeah. little things can come into big things, and all of a sudden you're in this stew, and you don't know how to get out of it. But it's by the grace of God that He sends people in our paths that can guide us and help us along the way, and that is the proof of God's faithfulness to us. In His sure name, Amen. 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 Bless you, sister. Bless you. The mighty pleasure. Mighty pleasure. Uh, you just continue to uh, never cease to amaze me. You know, you do so active. You know, you was evangelizing out in the streets. You was like praying for the loss outside. You know, they, they, you know, God used you for those two, three days that you was down there, you know, and you was out and about, you know, serving, you know, um, cleaning of uh, an 80 year old woman's house. You know, you was just serving in the ministry. You, you know, you didn't just sit about, you just like was walking around and you was just, you know, you was, you, you know, God used you for those three days. And I also believe that he wanted to give you that time as well. Do you know what I mean? Because I think you really got a, a bit of space for yourself. You know, you got a bit of clarity around certain things, you know, it was really good to see down and talk to you so may god bless you as well father god we thank you lord there's the name of jesus lord that we just lift up we just lift up our sister we lift up our sister to you lord ah oh, thank you jesus lord as we come to you this morning lord that you teach us you teach us with our hands to war and our fingers to fight in the name of Jesus, Lord, that Lord, that we are here with you, Lord. Hallelujah. And as we are here with you, Lord, that we are warriors in you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you as you help us. Use us as your weapon against the enemy when he comes in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. The weapons of our warfare, as we know, are not carnal, but they are mighty. For pulling down strongholds in the name of Jesus. We break down every stronghold on this platform right now. Any plan of the enemy right now, or any evil gathering assigned against us right now, we pray that it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Satan, you have lost the war here in the name of Jesus. You've lost the war with each of us as individuals. You are a defeated foe. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And I thank you, Father God, as we come before you this morning, Lord, that you are our help for lord that we do not war after flesh and blood but after the spirits in the name of jesus those that are not of you in the mighty name of jesus so help us father god help us in our 
uh, with the attacks against the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver us, Lord, and bring us, hallelujah, bring us into a larger place. Widen up our territory in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, Lord, I pray the prayer of Jabez over each and every person there that you would widen up our territory today in the name of Jesus, Lord. Use us, hallelujah, to do your will. Let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we come against every power and authority and darkness that is not of you, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, sister. It was funny because... When I when I got to you, my car didn't start, <laughs> and it tried to stop us from going to church. Oh, Hallelujah! And the woman from the hotel had to take us to the church. That was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, I'm sitting down there looking. I've got a preach in about 45 minutes. I'm saying, my God, Hallelujah! Look at Satan. You are a liar. <laughs> you are a liar. Hallelujah, Sister Michelle. Over to you. Come in. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I've honestly, God's been amazing. So faithful. Um, so long story short, for the last three years, we, three years ago, we had an air source heat pump fitted. We only got oil where we live, no gas. And, and it died. And, you, you know, with all the regulations, they're saying, oh, you can't get an oil boiler and all the rest of it. Anyway, so we went with this new technology and it was quite new at the time, three years ago. Long story short, it's been badly installed, wrongly installed. Um, and I've got a hearing coming up this next Friday, hopefully. Um, that's what it's scheduled for. Long story short, I didn't know half of what was wrong with it until just the last couple of weeks. So it's been quite stressful. And I, you know, one of these like Facebook pages, I, I just reached out on there and said, oh, you know, isn't it, can anybody help me? And I was praying to God, God, you've always been faithful to me. You've always put someone there for me to help me. And there's a chappy from Worcestershire. He's got his own business and he's literally gone through all the mcs standards that's the governing body he's gone through every detail he's literally laid out my case for me is it honestly because it's been completely undersized it's been barged the lot and to have someone who's put all those hours into it he doesn't know me it's just got to be god you know it's just like whoa he does it every time and also my husband he is coming on in so, it's so powerful what's happening in my husband at the moment. You know, there's been a lot of prayer for him, but he is so stepping up. We are, so, I, can't, oh, I can't even go into it, the, the, cha the changes that are happening in him. Oh my goodness, they're incredible. You know, he re he's repented of a lot of things, Not, nothing, nothing big and major, but just major things that are really bringing us on again as a couple. And so I, uh, yeah, without going into, I just, you're my brothers and sisters, just trust me. <laughs> Things are changing. God is good. Amen. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. I love that. I love that. I've still got to go through a trial on Friday. And funny enough, I've actually represented for somebody else and it's come on the same day. So I'm pretty sure one of them will get adjourned. But yeah, so um, <laughs> I, I could do with some help. But you know at the end of the day i just can't i just blown away that's all i can say so thank you <laughs> Man, i appreciate yeah. that that's absolutely beautiful yeah. father we thank you this morning and anybody else wants to come in you know to, to let us know what god's doing in their life this week i think it's a really good opportunity whereby we can give god the glory thank you brother con and so we just want to just lift up every single member here you know because god is doing a mighty work amongst us right now and i just want us to just kind of like really just be honored as we just come before and give him the glory do you know what i mean because it's it, it, it's such a beautiful thing to understand that god is moving in all areas in your life as michelle said he's moving in a in a in, in a marriage right now with her husband you know things are happening in the spirit right now and it's nice to be open to see these things and even if when we're going through these trials God is at work in each and every single one of us. I just want to just, you know, really give everybody an opportunity here this morning, really, to just come, to come, to come, come. And I just want to pray it over every single person, you know, that we're dealing with situations in families, we're dealing with situations with our children, that we can just pray, Lord, that you are at work in the mighty name of Jesus. We can just pray that we can come to you and petition your love and your goodness and your mercy in the name of your son, Jesus. So, Father, I just pray for um, our sister, Michelle. 
with her marriage right now. I pray as we lift up her husband, Lee. I thank you for the mighty things that you're doing in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you'll continue to bring them together. You know, I always marvel at the term of their marriage in the name of Jesus. 34 mm. years, I keep saying that. Hallelujah. Because I just love that. I love to, I love, love what God's doing. And, let's, you know, that you will do and continue to do a new thing in their marriage right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. It is written that your word that love is shed abroad in our hearts by the power of the Holy Spirit, who mm -hmm. is given to us because you are in each and every single one of us. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we believe that love is displayed in full expression in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Enfolding. Mm -hmm and knitting us together, hallelujah, as brothers and sisters. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that for every good work, we thank you that it's done according to your will, hallelujah, working in us, which is pleasing in your sight, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, thank you that we can live in this conduct with ourselves and our marriage, and I pray for all the marriages that are on here in the name of Jesus, and I pray for all the singletons that are on here in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that we can esteem each other, hallelujah, because we are worthy of this great prize that you've given us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, that we commit ourselves to live in mutual harmony with you in the name of Jesus. And Father, we believe and say that we are gentle, compassionate, courteous, tender-hearted, humble in the name of Jesus, like-minded like you. Father, and I pray that we can be more Christ-like like you in every situation in Amen. the name of Jesus. So Father, Amen. thank you because we follow you. Hallelujah. We follow after your love in the name of Jesus. So show us how to love each other more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can pray that marriages continue to grow stronger in the name of Jesus day by day. Hallelujah. As we lift it up to you, Father God, as we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because your, your word is founded in our hearts. Your word is founded in our lives. Your word is founded in our children. Your word is founded in our marriages. Your word is founded in our workplace. In the name of Jesus, as we just lift up every situation to you this morning, in here father god and we thank you that you are at work in each and every single one of us in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah brother con over to you brother con can you hear me Okay, Brother Con's not here with us. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, good. I'm, I was really touched by that story. Maxine breaks down. Ivor breaks down. Uh, how is he going to get to his testimony? And then the, the, the lady at the, at the hotel where Maxine's there is also a Christian, and she takes you to the church. Amen. How wonderful is that? hallelujah and it was great connecting with my brother mark and with you and our sisters and um, michelle I, I i think i know where to go with any boiler problems uh, with all this experience you'll be able to set up an advocacy service for dodgy boilers <laughs> <laughs> and think, yeah church, church. Churchiness spoilers service at your disposal. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, what touched me Saturday was like, wow. I mean, I met um, I met this brother, uh, this pastor, um, pushing um, a person, a youngster with uh, special uh, needs in a wheelchair. He's a carer, and. Uh, uh, I connected with this pastor and he'd he's lost his way and connecting with him you know he's looking forward to to the idea of this platform um to help him reconnect with the Lord and with Christ and he's looking forward to coming and doing a testimony for us in a few weeks and, and I was really touched by that and uh and then when I saw two young girls, both had uh, self-harm lines on their arms 
and uh, Sister Elaine came over and, uh, you know, when two are gathered in his name, you know, we we were able to to connect with these two young girls. But after that, something evil was in me and I'm grateful to have had my brothers and sisters around me to have that removed. Quite a profound experience. And, uh, you know, as, as I'm trying, as I'm, doing the work of the Lord, the Lord is doing the, his work on me at the same time. And as has been mentioned, the Lord has put people in my path, you know, to, to lead me towards him. And it's it's now retrospectively that I can, I can now recognize that, that people were put in my path to help me find, um, to find the narrow road. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Ivo. Amen. 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 What a wonderful testimony you actually done on Wednesday. I want to thank you for that. That was uh, so rich and the Lord is doing a mighty work in you. I pray that he continue to guide you and lead you in all that you do. And Lord, I just pray, yeah, that the continued covering over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That, you, that, that they will continue to bless you, protect you, guide your mind and your heart. That we know that, Lord, we just pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you are at work and your work is at hand in each and every single one of us. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you continue to deliver us out of every form of darkness, Lord, through trauma, through our past, because you know that our, our old life is gone, that we have a new life in you, Father God, and we look to you as the author and the finish of our faith in everything that we do, Father God, hallelujah, because we are new creatures in Christ, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we are ambassadors for you, that we are called to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as you teach us. Hallelujah. As you teach us, because there's times that we do not know what to pray for. Holy Spirit, we ask you to give us the knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. To ask for you, Lord. Hallelujah. To receive you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To receive you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill us up this morning, Lord, with that fresh anointing this morning. Fill us up with our hearts and our mind, with your goodness and your mercy. Fill us up this morning, Lord, with your love. Hallelujah. Fill us up with your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we just look towards you, we thank you for forgiving us all in the name of Jesus, that you are our Lord. Hallelujah. That we are new creatures in Christ. Old things have passed away. Hallelujah. Now all things have passed away because we are in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Absolutely wonderful this morning. Good to see Lee. Good to see my brother Andrew. I haven't seen for a little while. Good to see my brother Julian. It's really good to see my brothers and sisters. Good to see my sister Lindsay McKay. Hallelujah, Lindsay. Yeah, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I just love seeing my brothers and sisters, you know, in Christ. I just love, you know, welcoming you guys, you know, to this platform. I know some of you are in recovery or come from recovery. Hallelujah. You know, and to be in this platform, which is a ministry, you know, you know, it's really good that we can just come to, to praise our living God. Hallelujah. To praise the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, to glorify him. Hallelujah. To lift his name up. Hallelujah. And to have a space where we can do that. So may God bless you all this morning. Does anybody else want to just come in and share? Lee, Sister Lee, come in. Come in, Sister. There you go. Yeah, hi. Um, hi. Thank you. My name's Lee and I'm an addict and I'm a believer and uh, I just want to read one line for today, which I would have read on my own. And you're a new creature in Christ. I'm Amen. a new creature in Christ. <laughs> and I just, want to, I just want to read this line that um, is today's scripture, which is God has given, God, God has given a son to us. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Powerful God. Prince of Peace, that's Isaiah 9, 6. Yeah, oh my God, I can't believe what I've been doing. So I've been, um, the greatest part was on, this week I got on a tram at East Croydon. I was going over to a guy that I've been addicted to. God is, God is doing work in this relationship. I know he is because that's how he works. We can't see it at the time, 
but yeah, something's happening. But the part I wanted to tell you was I was going there and I and I'm I've been evangelizing on on trams and undergrounds and overgrounds. <laughs> It's been so wonderful, I can't believe it. I get on a train, like, it was the other day, um, well, I'd done no school children. It was the school children that really touched my heart. It was it was a school, it was a school, they was going to school. They were, uh, like, in the secondary school, and they were all in their little group. So I've come on the tram, and I shout out, Merry Christmas, Jesus loves you. And I was adding that, my Jesus loves you track, and they was all taking them, all the children. They took her, yeah? And I was like, wow. Because they're children. They're not like adults. Yet. Adults are all like, no. Nah. You know, some are like... They just can't believe it. They're really shocked, yeah? It's just that these ones just come on the train. And um, and there was one boy, and he was like, no. Nah. He, he didn't want it. But later on, I looked at him, and he, he, he took it. Because everyone else did. And then I was on the underground the other day. And I was on there early, and I was like praying. Uh, my favourite scripture, which is, uh, I seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added to me. That means I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I have the power. So I go down the uh, underground on the first carriage and not one taker. They're just like, because it's early in the morning, yeah? I just get off that carriage, go on another carriage. <laughs> and then they're taking and taking and taking and I'm like, Oh, it's so good to see them taking. And then the ones that don't take him, I'm like, they're my sheep. They're Jesus' sheep, but they're my sheep too because I'm there to feed Jesus' sheep. And that's the other part that I just love that gives me the self-esteem. And then the, the other part is there was one man it's in the middle and I went, Merry Christmas. And he had his name tag. And his name was Jake. That's all I can remember, Jake something. I went, oh, Merry Christmas, Jake. Are you an official warrior? <laughs> and he was a trained um, inspector, I think. I don't know. I think he was. He went, what are you doing? Like, it was really nice. He weren't like an horrible inspector, but he was just kind of like laid back, really cool and sweet, really. He went, what are you doing? And I went, I'm spreading the word. And he went, well, can you uh, be a little bit more... You know, because people don't like it. And I just went, yeah, all right. And I walked down the bottom of the carriage and just started going, praise him, praise him. And then when I got off the train, he was looking at me. And I started thinking, God, I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> I'm murdered for this. And that's it. And I'm going out today on the school runs, on the underground, on the overground, because it's freezing on the street. And it's just a new place that God has opened up doors for me because I have a friend who does some things on the train too and I've been with him and he goes on the train and and he's like a bit of a cook he's a spiritual guy and he believes in Jesus and I think this is where I've got the idea from amen thank you amen. thank you father God we just pray for you thank you for your boldness in Jesus name we just lift you up Lord we just pray that you continue to lift Lee up, Lord, Lord, that boldness, give her that boldness of Peter to continue doing your will. Lord, let's just pray that she can submit it all to you because you are the supreme authority in the name of Jesus. So, Father, thank you for our pastors, for our leaders, for our evangelists, for those that teach, for those that serve, for those that help, for those that make the tea. Father, Lord, because we just thank you that you equip every single one of us, those that give the hug, and those that welcome, those that pick up the phone those that read scripture with each other lord i just lift us up each and every to build up your kingdom father we thank you this morning lord we thank you lord that we are submitted to you hallelujah and that you are at work that you give us examples of a congregation a built-up congregation here tonight that we can submit to the church that we can submit to the elders and the ministers in the name of jesus that you will guide us hallelujah in the name of jesus that we can yield to you that you will guide us and lead us in everything that we do in jesus mighty name we pray Pray. Amen. Bless Amen. you. Bless, bless you. I pray that you continue to get the boldness to do the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. And a word of warning that relationship, leave it alone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Over to you, Sister Bob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Morning, everyone. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I just would like I'd just like to um, praise God, like for what He's done in my life, because um, I just to see like every every time, like, every time I could just see the glory of God working through me, and um, I just want to say that thanks. Like I've got like a, um, I used to work in an agency with a school, and now I've got like a more permanent job, like in in um, um, primary school. And um, yeah, and God is just like really working with, through me because, not through me, but just God is working with me because I've always wanted to work with children. So now um, I'm, um, after Christmas, I'm on my third module to um, do like a Christian course in um, um, working in Sunday school ministry. So um, yeah, I just want to give God, glory to God and yeah, just the thank you for your ministry and, and thank you for this platform and yeah, just going to give glory to God. So yeah. Just want to share that testimony right now. Yeah, I'm so grateful that I've got like a more permanent job. So it's a one year fixed contract, and I'm praying that it will ex be extended. And yeah, thank you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. And I just want to lift Sorry, up. My voice sounds a bit. My voice sounds a bit hoarse. I went out. We had our last. Um, we had a Christmas party last night. So I was just was, like having an amazing time. And yeah. Amen. That's lovely, Bob. You know, you're anointed. I love your smile. I love your passion. I love your heart. You really have a heart for Jesus. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, you're just such a faithful servant. And I know God is blessing you. And you're going to be a blessing to those children wherever you go. Wherever God leads you in your profession, you're going to be a blessing. Lord, we just pray that you continue to strengthen Sister Barb's in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that she is an example to us all. In the name of Jesus, she's always smiling. Hallelujah. Always smiling. Ever since I've known her, what I've known most about Sister Barb's is a smile. It just lights up a room everywhere. Where we go father we thank you lord that you just continue to help us in all that we do in jesus name we pray amen i just want to give one, one testimony for our sister uh uh gemma um which is um not here she's getting the kids ready for school this morning and this is a really good testimony you know she applied to uh, do a, a, a one of her modules of a christian counseling course and um unfortunately um our, our pastor was away on holiday Oh, it's called a sabbatical for three months. And um, she used the uh, the temporary pastor um, who was actually um, in uh, operation of the church at a time while the um, pastor was away. And um, they writ to the temporary pastor, which is called the curate. And unfortunately, the curate said, I cannot give a reference in this detail because I don't know her that well enough. I mean, she was only there for six months and there was a deadline. And the pastor came back, I believe it was last week. And he came around yesterday and said, I filled out your reference and I filled out your um, request that they wanted in great depth. And they phoned her yesterday with one day left before the application was submitted. And she's on the second module. Hallelujah. Glory be to our sister Gemma, who's doing a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. course in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the timing was just God's timing is immaculate. And it's just basically how God works. He is so good. You know, he works everything out to detail to the point that the, the, the pastor came over and said, you know what? And, and they said it needed to be in. And I filled it all in. It took me a good few hours. I could see why the other curate didn't want to do it. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> but he got it done. And she's on the course. And she's so ecstatic. Hallelujah. Uh, so our sister Gemma is going to be on that Christian counselling course, which she's going to be doing a second module on the next levels on there. So that's really, really good. I'm really pleased for her. So it looks like I shall be um, um, having to sharp up my fatherhood skills again. Hallelujah. More, <laughs> more, more, more children time. Hallelujah. It looks like. Hallelujah. <laughs> Excellent. And, uh, you know, it's so good. My Ariana was sleeping with me last night. She came down looking for me because I was out all day yesterday. 
I was um, in London. Uh, I was meeting some people who want to um, help us and uh, guide us. And it was just a series of meetings yesterday. I didn't get home till 12. My little daughter came to came looking for me at, at five o'clock this morning. It was so sweet to say, Penny, where was you? And it's so nice to get that, isn't it? You know, the love of children. As you said, Lee, the little children is just so beautiful, isn't it? The innocence of the children is so beautiful. So Ed, that's Ed, been a wonderful morning, guys. I thank you. It's good to see you. Um, um, Brother Julian, hallelujah. Uh, just to let you know, I got my call yesterday. It was so great. Uh, uh, so that's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> and it's just, been, yeah, it's all been good. Yeah. <laughs> and it was really, really good. And it was just, uh, you know, she was so ecstatic. Uh, uh, it was just so wonderful. Do you know what I mean? I think she probably looked at my my criminal past and must have thought this guy is just trying to do his best in life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that was just so powerful. She was on the phone to me for ages. You know, she's really, really just, just um, been so supportive and, you know, just, you know, and I thought that was brilliant because I don't normally pick up private call numbers. Do you know what I mean? You know, when you see private call numbers, you, you think it's a spam call or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Or who's trying to get hold of you withdrawing their number. And I picked this one up and it was that lady, this that lady. And that was so good. You know, I was on the phone to her about half an hour and she was just really, really pleased. She was happy for you and, and everything else. And, uh, I think she was just really glad that she'd done her job thoroughly in the end of the day. And uh, that was just beautiful as well. Because it's good, you know, to, it's good sometimes to be checked out. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's good to be checked out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so good to be checked out because sometimes when people check you out and they see that, that the Lord is at work in you. Hallelujah. You just know that God is at work. Hallelujah. And it's like, I remember when people used to want to check me out before. Do you know what I mean? There'd be a fear coming over me. I have no fear when anybody wants to check me out today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's a, that's a freedom in Christ that I have today. Hallelujah. Please come and check me out. Hallelujah. You know, my house is open. My business is open. My church is open. We are open. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, because Christ is in us and Christ's light shines through each and every single one of us. We are an open house and an open book today. Hallelujah. So I just wanted you to continue praying for our charity. Um, which is going through uh, and some of the stuff that we're going through with our supporting housing accommodation we're coming across some stumbling blocks at the moment but you know we're getting lifted up so i just want you to can be continued in, a, in, a, in our prayers for us in, in 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 what the lord's doing and to continue lifting us up in every area that you can for the ministry you know uh, your prayers are needed and we really want you to pray uh, for god's mission and and, and, for, and for what god's commissioned us to do uh, uh going forward in, in in 2024 as we see out this year so father god i just thank you as we just lift up we're back on sunday evening with our bishop uh, at uh, 8 p.m he's going to be continued doing uh, the teaching on the um masculinity and the femininity of, of men and women um if you missed the first two series you can get them downloaded on www.faithwalkministries.co.uk it's uh it's been a great series uh it was so powerful last week uh, and it was also really powerful the way the bishop just delivered how god is using him through his um trials you know it's a real example to each and every single one of us how you know no matter what's going on in our lives you know that we continue to seek first the kingdom of god and everything that he's added on that and we keep our eyes fixed upon him because he's the one who's strengthening us and guiding us and leading us so i hope you can join us uh, uh on on sunday at 8 p.m uh back in on monday and uh, back in on wednesday and um I believe we are back in the head testimony morning next Friday. May God bless you all. Thank you all for your service. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thank you, Sister Audrey um, um, from New Testament Church of God, you know, for being here this morning. Uh, yes. Mark gave a flyer to. Bless you, Brother Mark. Uh, Amen. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Sister Lindsay. Hallelujah. Bye. Uh, Bless, bless your, bless, bless, bless your, your, your you. hubby, Mr. Marcel. Hallelujah. Um, good to see you. Uh, who else? Nicole. Good to see you, Sister Nicole. 
And uh, Lindsay, good to see you, Lindsay McKay, all the way up there in Scotland. Hallelujah, Lindsay. You back off the boat. Click, click, click. You back off the boat. Oh, my sister, Lindsay. When I see my sister, Lindsay, it reminds me of where this ministry comes from. You know, when we started this ministry, she'd be the first person on, on online. Hallelujah. That was nearly three years ago. Hallelujah. And we've been there ever since. God has sustained us and provided us and healing us and guided us. And we thank God. God for what he's doing because it's always good to see you know the progress of everybody else in in Christ as well hallelujah as we go on this journey together we just want to just lift you up father God that we want to follow you that we're putting aside our own desires and convenience that we can yield them to you in the name of Jesus hallelujah because you have a plan for us hallelujah and even yeah. in the midst of our fear we surrender and entrust you to our future father God we choose to take up our cross and follow you in the name of Jesus because you are a living example to each and every single one of us hallelujah father you gave us jesus the example that he has returned to you father and you've sent the holy spirit to be our helper to be our guide to be our deliverer in the name of jesus and in this world there are temptations trials and tribulations but jesus has overcome the world and we are of good cheer because we are overcomers because of him in the name of jesus hallelujah father thank you jesus that we can submit to you as we come to you, because we know obedience is far better than the sacrifice, Father, because you are more interested in our listening to you than in our offering of material things to you, because we know rebellion is as bad as sin, hallelujah, and it talks about in the Bible, it's as bad as witchcraft and stubbornness, hallelujah, that we can seek you, Father God, as you show us, as you show us your way, let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, because you deserve honesty, Hallelujah. You deserve honesty from our heart. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, give us the wisdom from above in the mighty name of Jesus. Sprinkle us with cleansing, hallelujah, of your blood right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That we shall be clean. I'm not talking about the clean we're talking about in the meetings. Hallelujah. I'm talking about we shall be clean, purified in our hearts and our mind. Hallelujah. Because you raised the bar, you raised the standard. Thank you for getting us clean. Hallelujah so that we can seek you, that we can seek your ways, because your ways are higher than ours, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, hallelujah, transform us in our thinking, transform us, renew us in our mind and our heart, in the name of Jesus, as we come to you, hallelujah, as we surrender, because we know surrender is to win, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that we can continue seeking you in your ways, in the mighty name of Jesus, because we want to follow you, hallelujah, may God bless you all, May God keep you. May God continue to shine his face upon each and every single one of you and give you his peace and love and know that he is at work in your life right now. Know that he is delivering you. Know that he is touching you. Know that he is empowering you. Know that though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that you shall fear nothing because we know that fear is of the enemy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no fear in Christ, but perfect love. Past that fear in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless Amen. you all. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you all. See you Sunday night. God bless you guys, ladies, babies. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.